Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and welcome to beautiful, sunny Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm a little, I gotta tell you, I'm a little excited. I've done a lot of Echo videos, as you probably have seen. Today I'm gonna walk you through this pop top that just came in last week. Uh, this is a sold unit, but I got permission from uh, my customer to let me show you guys this and kind of walk you through some of the differences between the pop top and the non pop top models. So this is a 2022. It's on the Ford Transit chassis. It's got the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost. So you get 310 horsepower, 400 foot pounds of torque. Plenty of power and torque to go through the mountains here in Colorado. You got a 31 gallon fuel tank. Plenty of fuel, again, for dry camping. This coach was actually thought of and uh, created to kind of help you guys that like to go out there and dry camp for long periods of time. It's a four season coach. You've got dual pane windows. You've got great insulation. Uh, the R values on these are better than I would say any other competitor on the market right now. Um, we're gonna start right up here on the front and just kind of work our way back. So you can see this is an all wheel drive. It's got several different settings highway setting, eco setting, slippery, mud and ruts, and also a tow haul mode. So you can see right here in the front, I want to point out a couple things. So when you buy the pop, if you, if you need the pop top for the additional sleeping, you do uh, miss out on a couple of things that you can't get due to weight constraints. One of the things that you may notice is missing down here is a running board. So typically you would get a running board on both sides of the, the van. With the pop top, you cannot get that because of the uh, weight constraints. As we move over here, right under this nice 13 foot awning with LED lights. I kind of want to show you, this is where your outdoor kitchen option would go if you didn't have the pop top. Again, I'm gonna say that a few times. If you don't have the pop top, uh, you could get the outdoor kitchen, but with the pop top, you just get additional storage. What that means is that you get just a little over 65 cubic feet of storage on the exterior, which is a ton of storage uh, for a 23 foot uh, van like this one. And I'm gonna call it a van, it's on a transit chassis. Call it a C, I still like to call it a van because it doesn't have any slide outs, okay? Right out here, we're gonna have a couple of 110 outlets. Right here, you're gonna have a nine volt outlet and a cable insert. And I'm kidding, this is actually a 12 volt. All of the outlets um, on this coach are gonna be 12 volt. You're gonna have some USBs and you're also gonna have uh, some 110s throughout. Up here, here's your Truma AquaGo. And I'm gonna open this up for you because I wanna point it out. It's been a while since I've done that. Make sure when you open this that you lift up and then put down. If you don't, you'll break these little teeth off the door and you'll be buying a new one, a new door. So this is your Truma, whoops, Truma AquaGo. There you go. You've got two propane cylinders here. It's 40 pounds, 20 on each. Really easy to switch out. Um, no different than what you'd have under your grill at home or your fire pit possibly. Just swap those out. Right here, you're gonna have a nice quick connect. If you're carrying a grill, again, you don't get the outdoor kitchen if you wanna store one in that compartment. Really easy to access this and hook up your grill. All right. One of my favorite parts, favorite things about the Echo is you've got a ton of storage, like I said, over 65 cubic feet. The garage area is huge. And I'm gonna open up all these doors to get a little more light. You got three access points. So you can see we got light in there. We've got l track right down here on both sides. And we've got some tie down rings right there that come standard with the Echo. So 
so you can tie down all your valuables back here, your bikes, whatever it is you're hauling. We also have L track up on top. I'm sure if you can show that. We've got a couple lights in here, 110 outlets. Again, another two 12 volt outlets. And you got a furnace. It's heated. So it's vented right there. You get the hot air coming through there to keep that garage nice and warm, whatever you're carrying. This does have two Molly panels, one on each side, as you can see here. This is a really nice way to carry some additional items, small items that you want to just strap down to this. You can do it on both sides, kind of keeps them out of the way, possibly something you're going to access a lot frequently. You want to put on here so you have easy access. I'm going to shut these and then I want to point out a couple things on the back here. So we do have a hitch right under there. It's rated for 5,000 pounds, 500 pounds of max ton weight. It's got a seven pin connector. So if you're towing a small fishing boat or small trailer, this will have plenty of power to do so. Please remember, even though it says 5,000 pounds, you have to take a couple things into consideration. You have to consider your, your load, whatever you're carrying, how much the, the van, the echo weighs. Um, so that'd be your GVWR, right? Your gross vehicle weight and then your combined weight rating. So you want to kind of do some math. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. We got a backup camera up top. And you can also see the air conditioner back up on top there. And in case you didn't notice, there's no rear ladder. Again, that is because of the pop top. So that's another feature that you kind of, you miss out on again for the uh, weight carrying capacity. So the rear ladder is not there. You can add it after market. So after you purchase it, if you want to add the ladder, we can do that for you. These corners here, these are aluminum extrusions here. These are going to protect the corners. If you're going through trees, it'll keep the branches from damaging the sidewalls here. Uh, it'll, it'll catch a lot of that. So that's uh, a really nice feature to have. Here is our water bay. Outdoor shower, hot and cold, color coded, so that you know if you're dry camping how to how to set these valves, if you were just trying to fill your tank, if you're hooked up to city water, which your city water would connect right here. You also have your exterior satellite and cable and your water pump right there. And your light, that's what this is for. Again, this is also heated. This is a heated compartment. You've got your gravity filled water right here. Down here, you're gonna have your gray tank drain. There is no black tank because this is a cassette. It has a cassette toilet. Your low point drains are right here. And then there's, that's where you would run your sewer hose. All right, right here is our 30 amp connection. And then our exhaust for our Truma system here and here. So this comes with the Vario heat furnace and then the AquaGo hot water heater. Down here is a really nice uh, spot to store your hose, your sewer hose, keeps it out of the way, keeps it from getting everything else dirty. And then you're gonna have your cassette, five gallon cassette right here for your, your toilet. Super simple to use. A lot of people ask, you know, what's better, black tank, cassette tank? It really depends on your personal preference. I like the, how easy this is to dump. Um, you don't have to move your echo to go dump the tanks. You just take this out, take it to the nearest porta potty or uh, dumping station and you dump it there. I'm gonna come back to this Alu Cab bat wing awning here in a minute. I'll finish up a couple items down here. 
So as you can see, this Echo is equipped with your standard build, which is a generator and one lithium battery. This is a huge 10K Onan diesel generator. Just kidding, it's a 2800 gas generator. More than enough to power the coach, uh, keep the lights going, the AC going, all of that. Also charge your batteries. Uh, this is made to run off of the 2000 watt inverter, which is right here. That'll run all your 110 outlets, your AC and your TV, if you've got the TV option, off of that lithium battery. Some folks ask if we can add a second battery. There are folks that have done that. I always say, try it out first. Don't spend the money to go add a second battery if you haven't tried it, because you might find and probably will find that it's more than, more than sufficient for what you're using. All right, I'm gonna put this up, put that down real quick, show you guys this awesome bat wing awning. I gotta tell you that our producer loves this thing. He's got one on his four x four that he uses and he's always bragging about it how much he loves it, so I have to point that out for you guys. I like giving him a hard time. As you can see, it's super simple to use. You just unzip it, pull it all the way around. It latches right here. It's nice if you want additional coverage, depending on where you're gonna be parked. If the wind starts to pick up, there are additional tie down points right here. These straps will come down, give you some additional support. Um, let's see. If you wanna lift this up. In case it's raining, that'll get the water to run off of the awning and not let it sit there. And just so you can see how kind of how this works. So it gives you additional support here. And then again, you have the tie down points on each corner as well as here, just in case it starts getting really windy. That wing awning is awesome. I really like it. You're getting in and out of your garage back here. If it's raining, it keeps you dry. Although if you're camping, who really cares if you get wet, right? Take a shower outside in the rain. I want to point the windows out. These are dual pane windows. As you can see they have a dark tint on them. Keeps the sun out. Also makes it look really cool. Okay, Ford Transit, that means it's a gas, not a diesel. This is where you fill your 31 gallon tank. Nice thing about the 31 gallon tank is your generator is going to run off the gas in the transit. So it'll run up until you're down to a quarter tank and then it'll shut off just to keep you from getting stranded somewhere. So make sure before you go park, fill up your van if you've got time or a place to do it. You want to try to keep that happening. I'll let you just kind of see all the cool features we have here. We've got power door locks, power windows, plenty of cup holders. Going to have your lights, your mirrors, and then we'll go over some of the stuff when we go inside. I'm gonna pop the, pop the hood. The latch is kind of hidden, so I do want to point that out in case you haven't seen my videos before. It's right under here. So it is kind of hidden. It could take you a few minutes to find it if you're not, you've never seen it before. All right, 3.5 liter EcoBoost, 310 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque. Again, plenty, plenty of power. It's got the pop top. I know you're wondering, and you're gonna be disappointed when I say it, but no flux capacitor, I'm sorry. The weight did not, uh, it didn't meet the weight requirements, so we had to take the flux capacitor out of this one. We did keep the uh, blinker fluid in though, so if you're not sure where that goes, give me a call and I'll point it out for you. All right, now that we've kind of done a nice walk around the outside, I want to point out a couple things right here. 
mainly the, the screen door that you get with the Echo. It has a deadbolt inside where you can lock it. You can lock this. So if you're going to be leaving for a while, you can actually keep it secure. Leave the door open. You've got plenty of ventilation for your pets. And then the door as well right here. I mean, if you can see how thick this door is. A lot of the Class C doors are really flimsy. They don't really shut very well. I've got the steps automatically retracting and extending. We can shut that off right here. There's a button right here that I'll point out, and that just keeps the steps from going in and out. If you're parked at an RV park or you're, you know, you're parked at your destination, wherever that may be, you don't want them going in and out, in and out while you're getting in and out of the coke. So you want to kill the power to those. And this is the power right here. Your step on and off. This is your house battery disconnect. That'll shut off the power to all your 12 volt items. So if you're going down the road, you're, charging, you're using the USB ports or those 12 volt outlets that I pointed out, you want to make sure your coach batteries are on. This is your awning light and then your awning in and out. So because this has the pop top, I want to start by just kind of showing you the pop top so I can get this ladder out of the way. Ton of room up here. This is 52 inches by 79. Really comfy and plenty of light. You've got three vents, three screens up here that you can open up. You can also close them to black it out when it's time for bed. I'm just going to move this ladder actually outside so it's not in our way while we're walking through. All right, so I want to start right here in the front. This has the entertainment package, which is your TV sound bar. We've got a nice, you can tell if it's a Blu-ray from right here, DVD player right here. There's also your thermal covers. Your thermal covers are going to black out this whole section here, keep the heat in, the cold out. So you got blackout shades for the windows, and then you have the thermal cover as well for additional insulation. This is the actual thermal blanket. Got your owner's manuals. As with all the Winnebago's, or most of them I'm going to say, you've got the cool magnets up here that keep the, the uh, compartment doors open so they're not sagging down, hitting you on the head. Comes in handy if you don't pay attention like I do sometimes. Plenty of outlets throughout this Echo. 110s, USBs, and 12 volts. Dual paint acrylics. You got the screen. So you can get some fresh air going if you want. And then when it's time to black them out, you just go up. Super simple. Oh, hold on a second. We've got our uh, booster seats here. Let me get this out of the way. So this table, you just there's a little bar under here, you just push up, it comes down. I want to point out there's a, a vent down there for the heat. Vents throughout the coach, you saw them outside in the, the garage, you saw it in the water bay. Plenty of heat in this, uh, this Echo. Again, it's a really good four season coach for places like Colorado. If you're a skier, you like to just go out and boondock. This is the, the right van for you, all-wheel drive. Got a single sink. Cutting board. Then you're going to have two burners. And, of course, a microwave. Quite a bit of storage as well. Again, this is 23 foot in length. So it's not, it's not that big. It's not that long. You've got plenty of storage for something that size. Another 110 outlets here with GFI. OK, 
kind of forgot to point it out, but I just saw it. This grab bar is solid as you're climbing in and out. Grab bar is really nice to have, especially if you have, uh, you know, if you break an ankle. <laughs> I've had broken ankles. I've had hurt knees, you call it. You know, if you're out being uh, active, which hopefully you are, if you have an echo, you can go out there and get out, do some crazy stuff. You might get hurt once in a while. This will help you get in and out of your van. There's a lagoon table right here. And this is the table. This stores behind the seat. And I'll show you how it works. It just kind of pops in right there. You can adjust the height. You can turn your swivel your seat around. You have a table to dine right here. You can also lift it up, put it right here for additional counter space if you're cooking. Lots of purposes here, really versatile. I'm just gonna keep it right there. And let's see, what else? Oh, there's a little pantry right here. I want to point that out. Adjustable shelves. And of course, we've got the bathroom. And if you've never seen the bathroom in the Echo, you're going to love this. So you've got your sink, you've got your toilet, toilet pivots so you can sit sideways. There's also a window. It's got a blackout shade. Again, the windows are tinted. If you really feel the need to say hi to your neighbors, you can open the window and wave at them. When it's time for a shower, it's probably my favorite feature. You don't have to be sitting on the toilet when you're taking a shower. Plenty of space. Shower curtain right here. Really cool engineering there. That was an awesome thought. I'm glad they came up with that. Nobody wants to be sitting on the toilet while they shower. I guess if you like to multitask, might as well brush your teeth, you know, get it all out of the way in one shot. Up here, we're going to have our controls for our furnace and our air conditioner. And again, and this is actually the light for the bathroom. Um, Really simple system. If you purchase from us, we'll do a walkthrough with you. We'll show you how to use all the components in the in the Echo or, or whatever coach you buy from us. Right now it's off. You can go over to your fan. Click that. You can set the, the temperature. Right now it's perfect outside. No need for air conditioning or heat, but that is how you would run that. And then here is your air conditioner. You just hit your modes. Again, I'm going to leave it off. It does run off of the battery, so you don't have to be plugged in. Up here in the bedroom, you're basically going to have a full queen once you put this down and combine the beds together. Alone, you've got two twins. It's really nice if, if you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, or if you've got kiddos, keep them separated up here. Maybe you're sleeping in the pop top. Uh, when it's time to go up, get up, you don't have to wake somebody up. You can actually get out without disturbing the other person. Huge windows. And again, these are dual pane. Getting some fresh air right now, but we could kind of close this to keep the, the bugs out if we had to worry about that, but we don't right now. On this side, right here, you can see the top of the bat wing awning. On this side, if you're camped out with your kids and they're standing out there, this would be a perfect spot to have a bucket of water balloons and just be firing at the kids or even a water gun. Or when it's time for lunch, you just throw their food out, right? Make some hot dogs. <laughs> Under here, point out a couple of things. You're gonna have a lot of storage. You got some storage right here. You're gonna have a drawer on each side. If you get one of these and you want measurements, I've had folks show up, uh, take measurements of our demo just so they can start buying the liners or whatever they're gonna you know, do to modify their Echo. You're more than welcome to do that. You just call us, we'll schedule an appointment and get that taken care of. A Couple little hidden cubbies back here. Good spot to put your valuables things you don't use often. 
And you can't tell by just watching the video, but these mattresses are super comfortable. This system that they have on here, the Froly, is awesome. It's like a little box spring. Uh, just super comfortable. You'll have to take my word for it or come down and try one of these out. Up here, we're going to have some more 110s, USB, and 12 volts. And also on the inside of this compartment here. I'll let you get up there and kind of check that out. So you can see, once again, the magnets keep the doors, the drawers open. Cabinet doors stay out of your way so you're not hitting your head. Now, since I'm standing right here, we'll go through this refrigerator. Twelve volt. It's got day and night modes for energy savings. You go to bed, you're not wasting energy. It's a 5.3 cubic foot fridge. Plenty of space. Now we can kind of go over the cab. Just a couple things in here. Get my booster seats out of here. In case you're wondering what these are for, when you swivel the seat around, because the floor is higher up, your knees kind of touch your chin, kind of get in the way. So you sit on this, it raises you up and makes it more comfortable. So you always get a couple of those. All right, a couple of things I want to point out here. I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. Okay, as you can see, it says the hood is open. Here are the different mode settings for the all wheel drive. So right now we're in highway mode or normal. You can go to eco or economy slippery and then mud and ruts and then your tow haul mode down right here in the front this does have an integrated trailer brake controller this is where you would set the gain on your trailer and this is where you would actually apply the brakes to it if needed again if you purchase from us you have questions some of this stuff you've never had a trailer you've never had to use tow haul mode uh, when we walk you through it we will explain that to you You've got a huge screen here. It's an eight, eight and a half inch screen. It's got phone, navigation, ton of apps. Perfect for when you're trying to go to sleep at night, you take the owner's manual out, or you, you, know, you get on your computer and you Google and watch 100 videos on this, go down those rabbit holes, you'll be up all night and won't get any sleep, but you'll learn a lot. Not a lot else up here. Um, you've got your cruise control. It does have the adaptive cruise control. It's got lane keep assist, all the safety features. Um, makes the drive really nice. Uh, even though it's kind of a box on the outside, right? Uh, it does have that aerodynamic front cap, which is insulated. Driving through the wind's not as bad as you would expect for something of this size. This is just a 10 and a half foot in height. Um, so you would expect more, but really it's not, it's not that bad. If you want to come out and do a test drive, you just have to call us and schedule that. We'll get you going on a test drive. Emergency brake is right here. You always want to make sure the brake is down before you start swiveling your seats. Sounds like common sense, but if you've never done it, it's something you forget. Um, I forget stuff all the time, so don't feel bad if you do. <laughs> and let's see, I think that's pretty much it. Let me sneak out of here. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, text, email, call. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Anything you want me to point out, if you want to do a FaceTime video on this or any other coach, I can do that and go through it more thoroughly. Just reach out and let me know. We'll schedule a time. Thank you guys.